Welcome to the one and only Brooklyn Hall. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Smokin' Joe. He took part in the greatest boxing trilogy of all time with Muhammad Ali. He defines the words Philly fighter. And he'll be facing the beast, Eddie Hall. What a weight difference. These two fighters are going to be in deep water. One has a size, has a weight behind it. The other is small, shorter, much, much lighter. Got to be fast, got to be sharp. Otherwise, you're out of here. Smoking Joe Frazier. His three battles with Muhammad Ali, perhaps the most famous the sport has ever seen. Eddie the Beast Hall. And yes, you guessed it. He is a heavyweight. In fact, the world's strongest man. And he fights out of Newcastle, England. That is true combat to with somebody so heavy. And here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, the Olympic gold medalist from Beaufort, South Carolina, the Hall of Famer from the golden era of heavyweights, a heavyweight champion of the world, smoking Joe Frazier. Hiding out of the blue corner from Newcastle under Lyme, England, the first man to deadlift 500 kilos, the 2017 world's strongest man, here is Eddie, the Beast Hall. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. People are arguing about this in the street, in the pubs, in the bars, and this is why it gets giddy, gets exciting. The anticipation, second to none. And that's the opening bell, round one. What a punch. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Big Eddie Hall took a big shot. And Eddie Hall goes down. One, two. back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got a swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him on the blind side of the left knee. Get him out of here. Good one. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Tell this guy, Johnny, he's got to do something different. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Oh, 
Here we go. It's round two. He scores with that right uppercut. Fantastic punch. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. You've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. What a punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that jab. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker. He's got to move a lot to win this fight. If you're in there with a guy so big in front of you, you've got to be smart. You've got to use your smarts and use that skill. This is what you've prepared for. You've got to negate that jab, let it ride past you and push his own weight on him. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Each one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down. Those punches add up. And he caught him with a left hook. And the world's strongest man is... it up and this fight continues look at the big fella get the beast eddie hall is down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you're out so time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt.